Next up is the Variety Award, which recognises someone who has helped to focus the international spotlight on the UK, like Jack the Ripper or Piers Morgan. <laughs> Here to present it, please welcome Mark Strong and Kira Knightley. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as Simon just said, the Variety Award shines a spotlight on somebody who's focused international attention on the UK. Uh, the recipient of this award, uh, Variety is probably quite a good word to use in um, a description of him. He has a film uh, that's just opened in the States to enormous acclaim. It's done really well over here, The Imitation Game. He has a, a TV show, much beloved, that's been going since uh, 2010. Sherlock, which I believe uh, will also have a Christmas special. He has uh, numerous voice projects that he's done. He's in The Penguins of Madagascar. He's going to be Shere Khan in uh, Jungle Book. And, of course, he's the dragon in The Hobbit. And that's not to mention theatre, for which he won an award um, as Dr. Frankenstein and the monster uh, and is about to play Hamlet next year, which is already sold out before rehearsals even start. So the man uh, has a phenomenal output. His choices are amazing, and um, he's a, a very, very deserving recipient. If you don't believe me, have a look at this. The winner of this year's Variety Award is Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, I mean, it's, yeah, that's, 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 that's very strange to watch that. Um, it's very, uh, oh God, I'm dropping the award already. Can I give this to you to hold? In case I get overexpressive and start throwing it around the room, that would take someone's eye out. Um, thank you so, so much. Uh, it's a very strange position to be in your own audience, let alone sort of have your entire career flash past your very eyes. Um, it's a ridiculous honour to be here, not least because of the, the output and the standard of previous recipients. And um, I feel this is a very premature way to acknowledge mine, but um, it will inspire me to, to work harder to feel like I've deserved it. And that won't really be difficult because I love my job. I love my industry. I love the people I get to work with, a lot of whom are in this room. I love the communities and the families that each job brings together. And I love how proud we can all be in taking stock in moments like this. Um, and how proud we can be as filmmakers in the UK, a community whose success is despite or maybe because of not having a studio system is a world leader. And the range and evidence for that is in this room tonight, from old established masters like Mike Lee and Timothy Spall to Jack O'Connell and Jan Demange. And it's, it's not just the people, as we all know, in this room that we should be celebrating. It's the armies of craftsmen that are the envy of the world and keep the world coming back for more business here. Chippies, electricians, riggers, drivers, security men, location scouts and managers, costume assistants, runners, camera, ca camera and sound crews, casting directors, a few of whom are here tonight. And thank you very much for my career. <laughs> um, costume assistants, uh, I, I said that already, costume designers, they are amazing. They do the worst hours of any of us. Uh, they really do deserve a shout out, even if it's twice in the same speech. And um, yeah, and even now, yeah, even some of our caterers deserve a shout out. Um, so however lonely and scared or independent I, I feel standing up here, there are legions of people that have um, supported me to a point where I can just get up in the morning and do my job. And I want to thank a few of them. John Grant, my brilliant agent who's here tonight. Um, and everyone who works with him at the Comedy Vanguard of Grant, uh, Billy Lazarus, Tara Jones, Nick Gall, Deborah, Elaine, Karen Maskell, who's here tonight, and my home team, Adam, my mother and father, and my fiance, Sophie. This, uh, this belongs to all of you. Making you proud is, uh, well, it's a wonderful engine for doing what I do, and I'd be nowhere without your support. My God, I don't think I've ever been more nervous in my life. I mean, <laughs> watching that, you'd think this would be a cakewalk. It's terrifying, partly because I didn't get any of the wonderful words I got to say on that screen written for me. This is all my own um, mumbling outpourings. But I, I'll, I'll just finish on a note to just celebrate all of the people in this room very quickly. I mean, all of us, I think, as freelance artists and filmmakers, crave autonomy. 
and to be independent from and free from the outside controls or anything that makes us dependent on politics or money or an outside authority. And for me, some of the most exciting moments of cinema, especially this year, gathered in this room to be celebrated tonight, are always when the odds are against you and authenticity is still achieved and the work triumphs in its spirit of independence. And um, I'm thrilled to have had my success in some of the sort of Goliaths of the film industry. And uh, I, I'm very happy with some of what we've seen tonight. But I mean, I owe, I owe that. I owe coming into that sphere to the Davids of this world. Um, <laughs> in that overstretched analogy. But anyway, the point is, as an actor, as an audience member, and now as a producer as well, I want to continue to support British independent film as the talent, taste, and brilliance that makes the best of our British and makes our British films the world-class films that they are. So thank you for this. Um, I love being in your audience. That's inspiring enough, let alone getting this incredible award. And to be a storyteller and to receive this recognition tonight is inspiring and a deep honor. So congratulations to everyone here, and happy Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys!